hello friends and welcome again and this is my new project online polling system and i have developed this project in php and mysql and the version i am using the php version 7 and the mysql version is 5.6 so i am running this project on the xamp server but if you have the latest vamp server then you can also run this project on the vamp server so because i am using the php version 7 then you can run this project on the latest version of vamp or xamp so if you are using the mac then you can install the php and apache and you can run this project also if you have the map server then you can also run this and configure this project so if you are using the linux then you can using uh, you can run this project using the lamp server linux apache mysql and the php <coughs> so this is all about the backend technology and the uh, server technology so for front end, I'm using the HTML, CSS and JavaScript and uh, this is a bootstrap theme. So this is a mobile responsive and the, the size of the screen will be fit according to the devices means if you open this uh, project into the mobile, then the size of the screen will be fit according to the mobile devices as well as the tab. Also, I'm using some of the jQuery library to give some of the good effects in the projects such as as you are seeing there is a slide running on the front page home page then it's a jQuery library also for integration of the date plugins and the uh, validations I'm using the uh, I'm using the jQuery plugin <clears throat> right so let's start with the functionality so the project title is the online polling system and uh, this is a major project with the three user role that is a citizen login and the uh, admin login and one more user login so who manage all the cities uh, candidates rights so let's start so this is the home page of the project so you can see this is the slider and you can change the content of this page from the index.php this is the about page from where uh, which is uh, explaining about the project that's about online polling system this is the notification so this is the notification section from where uh, admin will uh, push the notification and those notification will be uh, listed here this is the admin login and there are three user logins here okay so yeah the first one is the admin so you can see that this is the admin login and once admin login inside the system then admin can do all these things right so admin can see managed citizens so he can edit or delete the citizens from here so these are the citizen lists so if you want to edit the citizens then you can do the edit the citizens from here again the this one is the managed party so all of the party uh, which are participating in the election will be listed here so if admin wants to add new party then admin can add a new party from here also this is a validated and if you don't fill the form then it will not be submitted right this is the managed party and if you want to delete anything then you can delete it easily from the here right and that uh, things will be deleted that manage candidates so these all are the candidates so this is the candidate image and this is a party image and the name mobile and if you want to edit and update anything here then you can also do it from here also right this is the managed notifications i have also i have already shown it on the home page so all the notification which will be published by the admin will be displayed will be listed on the home page right so and if admin want to add a new notification then from here admin will uh, add the notification title and the notification description from here this is the manage votes from where admin will be able to see all of the votes so you can see this candidate gain two votes this candidate gain one vote so all the votes which will be uh, placed by the candidate will be displayed here right this is the managed committee member M committee member means all of the committee which is participating uh, so committee member is is just like a, a small admin means with a limited uh, access role right so if committee uh, so committee member can add the candidates or can add the citizens but he doesn't have the full rights like admin right so admin can manage uh, the committee members here right and this is the manage election admin right so all the election admin so currently there are one election admin admin can add any number of election admin here in the page this is the my account section from where admin will be able to update his account details and the change password right 
from where admin will be able to change here here admin will be able to change his password right as i said you earlier so this is a change password at my account section so now i am going to log in as a committee member so i am going to log in as a committee member and the user name is the committee and the password is just so this is the committee member accounts and what the committee member do then committee member will be able to add the citizen as well as add the candidates and committee member add can manage the citizen as well as manage the candidates right so this is the add citizen form form so committee member has limited rights committee member can only manage the candidate and citizens right also committee member can see his account details and change password and the logout so this is all about the committee members right now i'm going to log in as a citizen right so this is the create your password if you are not created so from here you will be able to create your password so what the other number you have entered into a database will be entered here and contact now and date of birth and after that you will eat and this will match the record from your database and if it's correct then you will be able to set your user set your username and the password right so i have already set it so i am logging as a citizen and the test right so this is the vote so one more thing i want to explain you so each and every citizen can only vote one time right if he has already voted then he will not be vote again right so you can see that it's saying you have already voted and you will not be able to vote again now i am going to clear the voting part so uh so citizen can make the vote again right so i am clearing the things right and let me show you again i have deleted the things and right this is the uh voting part now the voting part has been enabled because i have deleted the record from the data base right so once you click on the vote to candidate then that vote will be placed into the database and after that uh, you will not be able to vote to the another candidate this is the one of the main feature of this uh, uh, portal right right so this is the vote and this is the my account section from where can citizen will be able to uh, update his account details and the change password and the logouts right so this is all about the project the online polling system and i have developed this project in php and mysql and uh, this is a major project with three user login that is the admin login committee member login and the citizen login so then citizen has the limited rights the committee member has the limited rights but admin has the full right right so this is all about the project online polling system so if you need more feature in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes in this project and i will make this project more and better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest video updates on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much